Good morning. My name is Peter Easton. I am the director of the Center for Accounting Research and Education, which is commonly known as CARE, at the Mendoza College of Business at the University of Notre Dame. I'm also the editor in chief of the new peer review journal, Accountability in a Sustainable World Quarterly. I'm going to be the master of ceremonies for the next couple of days, so you will see a lot of me. I want to begin by, on behalf of my co-founding editors and co-organizing committee for the conference, welcome you to the conference. My co-founding editors are Jan Bowens, Robert Nickel, and Shiva Raj Kapol, who we get to meet later in the conference. I also want to welcome you on behalf of the University of Notre Dame and the Mendoza College. I hope you all enjoy the conferences. So why did we decide to organize these Accountability in a Sustainable World conferences? Five years ago, when we started to organize the first conference, we realized an urgent need for dialogue among academics, among practitioners, and between academics and practitioners about sustainability, accountability, data and measurement, related assurance, high quality information to inform responsible investment decisions, accountability and setting personal, corporate, public sector goals. The aim of this conference and the other conferences is to meet this need. The focus in this conference is on four pillars to a sustainable future as we see them. Investment, assurance, regulation, and target setting. The goal of the conference is to build and strengthen the links between academia and practice. We work to encourage younger academics to engage in the space and to produce good work and develop their teaching. We provide opportunities for them to present their work uh, to an academic, a wider academic and a practitioner audience. At the same time, we try to provide opportunities for practitioners to communicate with academics and to influence academics' work. Now you might ask why, and many of you have asked, why virtual? Why not in person? There are two equally important, I believe, reasons. First of all, we must have a large global reach and virtual gives us the opportunity to do this. We have a large audience that comes from the global south, which tends to be somewhat unusual in these meetings. We also wish to minimize the carbon footprint. We proudly can say our carbon footprint is very, very low. The conference is brought to you in conjunction with the Sustainable Investment Forum North America 2023. This is the largest finance forum during this week, Climate Week, New York City. It's brought in partnership with the United Nations Environmental Program Financial Initiative. It is one of two flagship climate finance forums in Climate Action's Roadmap to the COP29 series. I want to stop and give some very important thank yous. Many people have helped us in this conference and I will thank many of these people later. First of all, I want to single out and uh, put the spotlight on Laurie Marsh, who's partnered with us in creating all aspects of this conference, all the way from liaising with potential and confirmed speakers to securing all of the details and creating this virtual conference, which we are all about to enjoy. Thank you so much, Laurie. I also would like to thank our sponsors, Accountability, Cambridge Business Publishers, Mendoza College of Business, particularly Dean Martin Kramers, and the Department of Accountancy, particularly Brad Badisher, who's the chairman of the department. These groups have provided much needed financial support for the conference and for the journal. We thank them very much. We also point out, forgive me for doing this, but running a conference like this is extremely expensive, as is setting up the journal, which requires a lot of resources. 
we need more financial help. And we'd encourage you to talk to Jan Bowens, Robert Neckel, Shiva Rajkapal, Laurie or me about how you may be able to help us. We'd appreciate that very much. Also, I'd like to thank, certainly not least, Climate Action and Doona Productions. Climate Action has been very instrumental in putting the whole event together and setting things up and organizing the publicity and many other things that they do behind the scenes, extremely important. And to Doona Productions who are producing this, what I consider to be fabulous uh, recording of the next two days. Before getting on to the detail of the conference, so the co content of the conference, a couple of announcements. This is our third conference of three on accountability in a sustainable world. Um, you can view the previous two conferences on the CARE website, where we have videos of all previous panels, plenaries, and spotlights. We set up this conference with a call for papers. Accepted papers in the conference will be uh, published in Accountability in a Sustainable World quarterly. We also, in the journal, publish transcripts of the panels, some of the panels, and some of the plenary sessions. I urge you to sign up if you're not already a recipient of the journal. Sign up to receive the journal. Um, here's the QR code. The fourth issue of the journal will be released on September 30. Everyone that's registered for the conference will receive free access to the first four issues of the journal. The whole conference, let me say again, is designed to encourage conversations among academics and non-academics and within those two groups around the extremely important theme, accountability in a sustainable world. Over the next two days, you will hear from 25 academics and roughly the same number of non-academics, 26. You will hear from them in conversations as panelists, as plenary speakers, and we will shine the spotlight on academics and people from practice who have a message that we think can be presented briefly and should be presented to this audience. The conference will take place as four main segments. So this morning, we'll start with a discussion of changing sustainability reporting landscape. This afternoon, we'll move on to accounting for sustainability. Tomorrow morning, we'll move to a somewhat related topic, measurement and assurance of sustainability. And in the afternoon, we will change a little to the new perceived corporate focus on sustainability. And I want to point out the conference won't end with that. We will end with a youth engagement panel of students from the University of Notre Dame Mendoza College of Business. So I hope you'll agree by the end of the conference that each of the sessions has fabulous speakers. I hope you'll enjoy the conference. I'll introduce the speakers as we go. So let's begin with the first session. Uh, the first session is a chat with Jan Bowens and me, with Mark Van Baal, who is the founder of Follow This. Let me introduce my colleague Jan Bowens, and then I'll introduce Mark. Jan Bowens is a long-term very close friend and colleague. He is a fellow founding editor of, of the journal. He is a co-author of the conference, and he is the head of the accounting department at the University of Amsterdam. Mark van Baal is the founder of Follow This. Follow This is a group of over 9,000 green shareholders in big oil. They might not seem like many shareholders, but these are large, often institutional investors. So they represent a large number of shares. The mission of Follow This is to empower shareholders to compel big oil to drive down emissions in the line in line with the Paris Climate Agreement. Thanks to the votes of institutional investors in favor of the Follow This climate resolutions, Shell, Equinor, 
BP, Phillips 66 and Chevron promised to cut product emissions, that is scope three. Now together with the supporting investors, Follow This is working to compel Big Oil to cut emissions in line with the Paris Climate Agreement. The Follow This vision is a financial culture in which investors use their shareholders' rights to support the long-term interest of companies, the global economy, and the planet. Join John and me for the most engaging conversation with Mark. Mm -hmm.